I had the dream of having a second turn 5-5 indestructible creature on the board, and I took that dream and I turned it into my reality. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here today to talk about Arena, specifically a mono black Arena deck that I designed myself for the Ixalan Treasure event. In all honesty, I wasn't having fun playing in that event. I found it to be obnoxious. I entered it originally with my green deck thinking, oh, this will be fun. It'll accelerate my green deck and it'll be like, oh, I'll get to cast some of my bigger creatures faster. That's kind of cool. And then I quickly got frustrated with that deck getting stomped out because it was not suited to the event at all. And I just went, you know what? I'm just gonna use my red burn deck. Just burn everybody. So I tried the burn deck, had a bit of success, pulled out a couple of wins with it. It won more than it lost, but it didn't feel great. It felt kind of boring. So I walked away from Arena and was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna rethink this. And I thought about it and a card popped into my head. Phylactery Lich. I was like, oh my, what, you're guaranteed artifacts every turn. This could be amazing. So what I've done here is I've actually grabbed the footage of me constructing the deck. Now I'm gonna have some edits chopping things out to make it smoother because it was during a live stream. So at certain points I was getting up and doing other things. So I'll chop all that out and I'll just show you the part where I construct the deck from start to finish because I want you to see that you don't have to be like this amazing technical deck builder where you go, oh my God, I need to sort out everything. It needs to be perfect. Uh, I, what do I do, what do I do? It's just throw together what you think is gonna be cool. Because that's what I did with my deck. Now, if, if you're curious, you can see the full footage of this, the entire thing over on Twitch, where you can see all the matches I played with it and every little bit that'll be snipped out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the deck construction and then I'll show you some gameplay footage. This deck went five for five. It won every game it played, which was absolutely astounding to me because when you watch me build the deck, you will see indeed, I did just grab a bunch of random things with a, with a rough concept of the deck and it turned out very well. I wasn't all, I'm gonna use wild cards to get four ofs. I just played with what I had and it led to a winning build. So let's dive on into the fun. Well, I'm gonna build a black deck to mess around in this uh, token, this treasure event, because I thought to myself, the second turn phylactery lich every game, well, I mean, if you get it, obviously you gotta draw it. Feels pretty gross. Feels pretty gross indeed. So I thought I would build a deck around that concept. All right, we're gonna have a whole bunch of, we're gonna have a whole bunch of mana, right? So let's see, what, what all will work well in this? I do like Knight of the Oven Legion. I feel like messing with the opponent's hand. I feel like messing with the opponent's hand is the way to go. These guys seem pretty efficient. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cheap deck, that's for sure. We'll put in a bunch of stuff that messes with the hand. What else is gonna make this deck pretty solid? This can destroy anything that's not a Merfolk. That seems alright. That seems alright. Uh, 3-1 lifelink, that's, that's an alright card. Yarrick Fenlurker seems like another good choice. We'll just go hard at their hand, man. We'll go hard at their hand and rely on, um... We'll rely, rely on the Phylactery Lich. Which is a zombie. Ooh, Death Baron. I don't know, we don't have enough zombies to really justify it, though. Oh, Dread Presence, yes. Dread Presence is great. Let's El Chupacabra! Spawn of Mayhem, Flying Trample... I mean, this coming out pretty fast could be... Let's, let's give it a try. Oh, Twilight Prophet, you're pretty solid. Mm hmm... Cavalier of Night? Pretty solid. Doom Whisper is beefy. That distortion? I mean, you can save up the mana and hit their whole hand. I'm gonna put one of those in. We'll put one of those in. Uh, yeah, you know what, screw it, we'll play 61. We're going 61. Alright, we got tons of- Oh, we got it! We got the Lich! We got the Lich and hand messing with and everything. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna do a second turn Lich. 
No, my luck. This guy will be playing blue counter spells, and it'll just be like essence, essence suck. Oh, speed up your lands and stuff. Get those, get those lands out of your hand. So when I hit you with the discard, it hurts even more, buddy. Do it, big boy. Do it. Oh, he's, he's like, he must be playing some really mana expensive stuff. Well, time to find out how well this concept works. So, sack for a black. Second turn, Lich. Second turn, 5-5, five, five, indestructible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's figure out what his strategy is. Oh, I probably should have picked something. Well, this way I get to see his hand. Uh, yeah, we'll take your way your Domri's ambush. And swing with our 5-5 five, five Indestructalore. What up, Jeffrey? <laughs> so, you know what I got to say right now? This looks great. Um... Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Get your card, big boy. This actually looks pretty good. Now he's going to put out the Paradise Druid as well, or else I'll hit his hand. Yep. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. This looks good. This is great. This is, this is a good first showing for the deck, I got to say. I got to say. All right, we're going to sack that for a black. We're going to put out a Dread Presence. And we're going to swing with everybody. Bring that damage to damage town. Oh, that's right. That's got hexproof. I can't hit it. Oh, well. That's my bad. My my misplay. Uh, do I want to draw a card and lose a life or two damage to any target? Hey, you know what? Let's go two damage. You take two. I'll gain two. Maybe drawing a card was a better choice there, but... That lich is solid. Solid gold. You better cast what you have because you're not going to get to keep it, son. Oh, Demanding Dragon. Well, now. Um, you know what? I will let you have my Freebooter, because I'm just going to strip your hand anyways. I'm going to take that away from you, big boy. Wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you can't account for the, the piloter of the deck being a moron, right? That part is not something you can account for. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Spectacle you out. That's funny. Should have should have paid attention to the druid. I thought he couldn't cast the ambush. My mistake. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Big fat dragon. I kind of feel like I deserve to lose after making that mistake. But it is funny. All right. Do we want to just put more bodies on the board? Uh, yeah, why not? Screw it. Put more bodies on the board. And then we can just swing and end him.
All right, so we can pump for three. It means the most a singular dragon can do is 11, which isn't enough for lethal. If he swings with both dragons, he's automatically dead. Unless there's something I'm missing. There we go. Got him! Woo! Even though I screwed up, we can wreck his hand. Alright, well, let us gain some information. Let us gather some intel. What you got, boy? What you got? Uh, yeah, I'll take that Prison Realm, son. So we are playing against a life gain, a life gain style deck. Okay, good to know. Well, we'll, we'll continue to mess with his hand. We shall continue to mess with his hand. All right, so burglar rat, make him pitch a card, and then whatever he wants to keep more is just going to get exiled. Mm, yeah, we'll put out the, the fen lurker. There you go, buddy. What you got is what you got, friend. And then next turn we can drop a Doom Whisperer. <laughs> yeah, boy. What up, Luna? Mm -mm -mm. We're going to Doom Whisperer Town. If he doesn't play his spell, I'm just going to strip it from his hand instead. Oh, what's he tribunaling? What's he tribunaling? The Freebooter. All right. He's getting his prison realm back. I guess we're going to have to make him pitch his prison realm. Pitch it, big boy. He's going to swing into it with the angel, but who cares? It's getting rid of the prison realm. Then he won't be able to mess with my Doom Whisperer, hopefully. And it also hits him, which is nice. Pretty sweet. Yeah, you probably should have just kept that in your hand, buddy. Goodbye, Davriel. You've done your job well. Thank you, good sir, for your service. All right, what are we going to draw? We're going to draw a Vampire of the Dire Moon. Okay, so we're going to go Black Mana. And we're going to drop a Doom Whisperer. And Black Mana. Drop a Vampire of the Dire Moon, too. Why not? All right. Well, that's right. This thing has surveilled, too. <laughs> I can pay two of my life to look at my top two cards. That's awesome. We are going to mess him up now. I will gladly pay two life to surveil. Uh, yeah, that seems all right to me. Alright, 
Dread Presence. Play a Swamp. Two damage any target. Take up the Angel of Vitality. Gain two life that we can use with the Doom Whisper to surveil again. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Bam. Beefcake. Windblade Paladin. Well, what does it say? Whenever you gain a life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Oh, okay. It's a gigantic, a gigantic Ajano. Alrighty. Mm. Okay, let's surveil again. What do we got coming? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, yeah, actually, screw it. I'll leave the phylactery lich on there. That seems that seems very useful to me. Having an indestructible blocker keep this thing off of me. No, I wanted to go to combat. Here comes the Lich, big boy! 5-5, <laughs> five, five. indestructible. Squad! Does indestructible save it from spells too? Yep, Wrath of God effects it won't die from. You gotta find a way to give it minuses. Boom! Two for two! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Alright, well I know this is a departure from the normal content that I regularly make, but I thought that you would find this enjoyable. Let me know overall what you thought of the experience. Is this the kind of video that you enjoy? Or is it not really something that's for you? I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's not going to influence what I do really, because I'm just going to make what I want to make anyways. But, I am curious to hear your thoughts anyhow, even if I plan to ignore them. So I want to thank all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you for supporting my channel. And remember, my friends. Together, we are the sixth color of magic.